In about a month, the movie Only the Brave hits theaters. The film is based on the true story of the Granite Mountain hotshots who died fighting the Yarnell Hill wildfire. And while the film is set here in Arizona, it wasn't shot here. Arizona does have a huge legacy in the TV and film industries. Uh, however, in some recent years, some of the shines come off that memory as we've lost out on some big television and movie projects. Our Morgan Lowe is here to tell us what the state is doing right now to try and get that back, Morgan. Heather and Jared, it's not just the prestige of having films shot here that's at stake. Movie companies spend a lot of money and create a lot of local jobs. First team is in position, camera's in position. Here we go, quiet all around. Roll sound. Hollywood has come back to Prescott. It's a cut. At least with one film called Wish Man. It's a period piece from 1950 to 1980. It covers the adventures of my life. Frank Shankwitz is the inspiration for the movie, a career highway patrol officer who went on to co-found the Make-A-Wish Foundation. People want to go to the movies and see an inspirational story. But producer Mark Gold said shooting this Arizona story in Arizona was not a sure thing. If I was, you know, bean counter only, I'd be saying there's no reason to shoot over here. That's because other states offer tax incentives to lure big dollar Hollywood productions to their communities. It's one big reason Arizona has lost some of its allure to filmmakers. I don't know how we're going to stop them from here. The state whose vistas know. graced dozens of westerns, whose sand dunes played other planets, whose universities housed nerds, and whose streets saw Clint Eastwood gunfights, has seen its film industry all but evaporate. In 2010, Governor Jan Brewer even killed the state film office. I want you all to breathe in this beautiful vista. A recent glaring result is that the film Only the Brave, based on the 19 Prescott hotshots who died fighting the Yarnell Hill fire, was shot in New Mexico. I will not lie that that personally hurt. Matthew Earl Jones is the head of the new state film office. Governor Doug Ducey hired him to attract new productions to Arizona and make do without the tax incentives that exist in neighboring states like New Mexico. I'm not minimizing that this is a difficult sell. But Jones is optimistic because of some innovative ideas the state is getting ready to roll out next month. A discount program for filmmakers and free use of state property like roads and parks. When you start adding it up, then we are a great bargain. And I think we can resume our rightful place in the industry. I'm over here! Um, Back in Prescott, the director of Wish Man, Theo Davies, says there is a benefit to filming here that won't show up on any balance sheet, but it is real. I think what we tried to do is to say, it's an Arizona story, it's, uh, it's about a guy from Arizona, let's keep it in Arizona, let's keep as much of the identity of, of, of the state um, in the movie as possible. Last year, the film industry accounted for $387 million in direct wow. spending in New Mexico. Put that in perspective, that's more than the Super Bowl spent here in direct spending when the Super Bowl was here. So that's a lot of money. It's almost a no-brainer. It seems like our legislature has not been too friendly to Hollywood. So what are the chances that this uh, Arizona discount program, this new program, is going to work? It's better than we had before, but I talked to a couple of producers in the last week and they said that realistically this discount program plus a modest tax incentive would really make a big difference and supercharge our filmmaking business here. Hopefully the right people are listening so we can turn things around. We've got such a beautiful state, such a beautiful yeah. backdrop for a lot of movies. Yeah. Morgan, thank you so much.